It was about 2 p.m. I was in my car ready to go to the gym. But before that, I did this ritual that I always do before entering some social situations. I closed my eyes and visualized myself talking to everyone in the gym. I visualized them laughing. I visualized everything going well. I visualized that girl over there coming over to me and asking me something because she sees I'm this really nice charismatic man. I do this for about two minutes and then I step outside of the car to meet my boys. Then something interesting happens. We go to the gym and I see one girl starting to approach me. Hey Lucas, will you spot me in squats? That's your gym crush by the way. Everything happened as I visualized it five minutes before that. I stepped out of the locker rooms after changing into my clothes. And I see every guy in the gym and every girl look my way and I see the sparkle in their eyes. Let me ask you something. How many times have you went into a social setting and this happened to you? For me, that happens every day. But for my younger self, which is more relatable to you, I never got these situations. Girls never approached me. Guys never had sparkle in their eyes when they see me. Bro, this sounds gay as fuck, but honestly... People are just happy to see me because I was able to level up my social skills so much that I am very pleasant to be around. And over the years, I have developed some techniques that can instantly improve your social skills right now, today. Also, my friend, the last one is the best thing you can find on YouTube. Number one, visualizations. My friend, let me tell you something. You can control your body with your mind. You know how I know? Think of something sexual. What happens? you get hard. That's a proof that you can control your body with your mind. Your mind is more powerful than you think. Think of some happy moment. What do you see? You probably see some picture in your mind, right? And it makes you feel happy. Now, visualizations, my friend, they are absolutely amazing when it comes to getting better at social skills. Because before you go somewhere, like I mentioned in the story before, you can visualize yourself as being this charismatic guy everyone loves, everyone loves to talk to. You know why that works, my friend? It's because when you create this image in your mind, you are programming yourself to make it happen because you expect that to happen, so you act that way. If I visualize myself being really antisocial in the gym, really headphones in, hold on, that's what's gonna happen because I expect it to happen. I will be this little bitch in a social and anti-social bubble. Nobody's gonna speak to me because I will come into the gym with this attitude of like, oh, I'm better than everyone, I don't give a shit. I will talk to the receptionist like, yeah, hello, one pass. And I will be like a dickhead, bro. But when you do the opposite, that's when your social skills are gonna shine, bro. That's when you will talk to the receptionist like a fucking G. Do you understand the power of visualizations, my friend? It's not that hard. Let me tell you something. When you visualize something, you try to see the end goal. You try to see the people being happy to talk to you, the people smiling. You visualize her smiling at you. You visualize her looking up to you with this big smile on her face. Happy to be there. There is a great book about this. Let me show you. Brother, here it is. It's called Psycho-Cybernetics. You maybe have heard about this book, but this book goes deep into visualizations, how to change your self-image, how to be the man you want to be. This book is amazing about that. Check it out, my friend. By the way, step number two, get into your social flow. What is that, bro? There was a time I was going to the gym with my friend and we were really enjoying ourselves in the car. Oh, fuck, that sounded so gay. <laughs> we were having fun, singing, joking. By the time we got to the gym, we already were in this social flow. We were really charismatic already before even entering the gym. What I would recommend you to do, you know, when you do squats, you don't suddenly jump into your PR weight, right? No, you slowly warm up with just the bar. Then you put little weights on the bar. Slowly work your way up to your working weight. That's what you should do with this. Warm up with your friend before you go somewhere or play a song that triggers some emotions that you like. Or you can maybe read a book, maybe that's your thing. Just warm up before you go somewhere because when you go there not warmed up, you will feel a bit weird, like out of place, you know, that you're not supposed to be there. Social flow is when you get into the flow state, basically. 
you don't think about what to say, what to think, how to act, because you are in flow state. It naturally happens to you. Numero tres, open up your body. My friend, there are studies showing that your body language affects your mood, which means when you are slouched up, really like this, you don't feel confident, you feel like a bitch. But when you are opened up, you automatically associate that with being confident. There's this really good term that I'm using. Open up the front of your body, even when you feel anxious or something. Brother, think about it a little bit. Think of the gorillas, apes, and all these monkeys, bro. How would the big alpha gorilla act when he was trying to get some dominance and respect he would not be slouched up he would be open taking as much space as he possibly can and he would be loud he wouldn't be like a little bitch who is <laughs> he wouldn't act like a fucking loser bro he would be this big gorilla what i want you to do is be this big gorilla don't be that little ape in the background who is doing this masturbating <laughs> don't be that little bitch in the corner my friends be that big gorilla in the front of the frame when you open up your body that will inspire confidence within you and you will feel better much better what do you think would happen if i recorded videos like this wait if i had slouched up posture i would not even look at you <laughs> You would probably think I'm a, such a bitch. Number four, do not take insults seriously, my friend. How would you react if I told you you were a little bitch? Would you cry? <laughs> Are you a little girl? Would you cry? Brother, when someone tells you you're a little bitch, what you need to do is not get insulted because who gives a fuck? They are a little bitch. One thing that is absolutely fucking weird is when someone can make you angry or mad or upset or whatever with just words what the fuck when someone tries to insult you try to look at it with humor you can hit them with a reverse card you are a little bitch or you can fucking exaggerate it to make it funnier that shows power my friend when you get hurt like a little girl that shows weakness as a man imagine if you were defensive some girl told you you're so skinny and you say I'm not skinny, I'm working on six days a week. <laughs> Fucking hell. And she looks at you weird, like, what? This guy, such a bitch. Do you think she would get wet from that? Yeah, your face would get wet because she would spill her protein shake on you. <laughs> yeah, basically take it with humor. Don't give a fuck if someone insults you. Practice. You a skinny bitch. What did you say? How did you feel, my friend? Did I hurt your feelings? Oh, sorry. I'm just kidding, bro. Don't get hurt. <laughs> Gabo, okay, one very quick way you can improve your social skills is to start looking people directly in the eyes. There's nothing worse when I'm talking to someone and they are like, yeah, Lucas, I agree. I don't fucking like that. It shows weakness. Don't do that. Instead, look people dead in the eyes. Smile if you want. You don't need to be afraid of looking them in the eyes. They're not gonna bite your fucking arm or something. They're humans. They breathe air. Same as you. Very powerful way you can improve. How eye contact is gonna be perceived is exactly what I did right now. You're saying something and when you finish the sentence, you look them directly in the eyes. Confidence. There's gonna be so many people in the comments acting tough, but you fucking idiot. See how fucking the intensity of what I said just rose. Just because I timed the eye contact perfectly. Think of the big gorilla again. Is he looking around the room while talking and talking softly like a bitch? No. That gorilla is staring you down as if you were fighting him next week. <laughs> like a fucking UFC tournament. He's looking at you and he's speaking with proud chest, with conviction. That's how he is speaking to you. Be that gorilla again. Don't be afraid to look people in the eyes. It shows power. My friend, before number seven, I want to give you some quick tips you can use right away. So number six, smile, bro. Don't be afraid to smile. Many people, when they talk, they just try to be really tough. Like, a, fucking, I want to slap you in the face, bitch. Honestly, don't try to act tough when you are a little bitch inside. People love those who smile. It shows kindness, warmth. Don't be afraid to sometimes throw a little smile in the conversation. It makes you seem charismatic. It makes you seem confident in your own skin, which you should be. Second quick piece of advice is talk slower. This is not a YouTube video. 
You are not trying to catch people's attention and keep their attention high. You are there to make them feel good when you're speaking to them. You're trying to make them feel like they are the only person in the world speaking with you right now. Because when you talk slower, my friend, the conversation seems maybe more intense, but more relaxed, more personal, more intimate, whatever you want to say. You are not fucking recording YouTube videos like I am. Even I can speak a little slower right now. How does that feel for you? It's really relaxing, isn't it? Because I'm not rushing the words, I'm taking my time. It seems more confident than when I'm... Right? I feel even better when I'm speaking like this. So much better. I feel more natural. Number three quick piece of advice is... Pause before speaking. My friend. This gives the anticipation to the conversation. Everybody wants to see what you are gonna say next. They are gonna wait with their ears wide open for you to speak. That is very powerful. I used this with one girl recently. And let me tell you exactly what happened. I was speaking to her, explaining some things, asking her questions. She was answering one of my questions and what happened next is very interesting. She was done speaking, and once she was done, I stopped. I looked at her and I smiled. Then I spoke. Bro, the sparkle in her eyes. Even more. Her body language opened from this closed up shit that most girls do when they speak to them. She was now open, completely open. Now what happened next? This girl, I've met her the same day. Ten minutes later after the conversation, she was leaving the gym. Guess what happened next, bro? She went for a huge hug. I've met this girl 10 minutes ago, by the way. <laughs> you know what happened even after that? I came home, opened my phone, opened Instagram. Boom, I see a message from her. You know the crazy part about that? I didn't give her my Instagram. <laughs> That's the power of pausing before speaking. The best times to use this is when someone is done speaking. You pause. See if there's something more they want to talk about. And if not, you pause for one or two seconds, then you speak. Look them in the eyes while this is happening. Number seven, this is what you've been waiting for. And my friend, let me tell you something before I speak. Many people will click off after hearing this because it's an unsexy answer, but it's so true that I need to put it here. Number seven, you have to remember that being charismatic is not about these tips. These tips are not going to create that charismatic man. It's about what you have experienced, the stories you are able to tell from the experience. This is what will truly make you charismatic because without the status, you will never be as charismatic as someone who has experienced life. Never. Never ever in your life. I'm not saying this to scare you and to turn you down to make you click off. No, I'm saying this to don't be a pussy and actually live a life. Don't be locked in your room trying to watch crypto or trying to just work on your business, which is amazing. Today I'm working 10 hours, but I don't do that every day. I need to experience life so that, I can, so that I can give you something to think about, right? I cannot be locked here, experience nothing, because there would be nothing to tell you. I would not be able to tell you these things that you can learn from. Do you see what I'm saying? These tips, my friend, are not what will make you the man you want to be. What will make you the man you want to be are the experiences that life will give you, throw at you. I can tell you hundreds of stories that you can learn something from right now at this exact moment. The video is already too long, so I cannot really do that. But I have something to say. What do you have to say? What stories can you tell? What advice can you give me? Bro live a life scroll down right now and click the subscribe button you don't want to miss anything that can significantly improve your life so you have stories to tell <laughs> i'm gonna see you brother in another banger bah!